Make sure you check out UFIFA. They have the cheapest coins around. Click the link in the description and use the discount code KIZ to get 5% off. Enjoy the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's KIZ Day and today we have a very special FIFA 15 video. I'm going to be talking about the brand new features, the official confirmed features by EA. So all the game modes are going to be talking about Ultima Team, Co-op Seasons and all that stuff. All the things that they added and all the things are taken out. I'm going to be explaining it thoroughly. So make sure you hit that like button if you're excited about these new features and make sure you watch the whole video please because that would be very helpful and leave your comments down in the comment section down below but anyway let's get started into this video let's go okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is the squad creator it's a little bit different from FIFA 14s but it's the same pretty much the background the stadium is the exact same the pitch is a little bit different so with that out of the way let's move on to the cards now the cards look exactly the same they have the exact same shape but behind the players faces there's a circle there's a circle design which is quite nice and you have to bear that in mind as well something else you need to know as well don't take the ratings right here on these players seriously because they are not the correct ratings just yet so i don't think they're confirmed yet in right mid we have iron robin he has a number five on him so that means that something's going on so i'm going to be talking about that after this in the next feature which is the player loaning system so basically you borrow players and something that was pretty weird in this as well in striker we have david via he's an 83 rated and what i'm wondering is why is he a non-rare rather than a rare because he is a high rating 83 is a high rating for a striker so i don't know what's going on there but let's move on to the next feature so the next thing we're going to talk about is a player loaning system. Now you could borrow a player for a certain amount of games for your ultimate team club. For example, how you do this is you go in your EA catalog, your EAFC catalog obviously, and with the EAFC coins, you buy the certain thing that you want. Like for example, if you want Neymar with five games, if you want Ribery with three games, if you want Lewandowski with four games, and then he'll be in your club. And when the games run out, when you play those five or more games, or less games then it runs out and the card goes away so that's a pretty nice feature the people who can't afford to get the normal card or the like proper card that you play with and um, they could just try out these players so i'm pretty sure you could try out ronaldo and messi as well as of red so that's a very very nice feature and on the right you could see the player name you can see the average transfer value the goal scored and the quick buy as well so it's a really nice um feature right there I hope people don't overuse it too much because that will be annoying but it's a nice feature and i think it will do well so the next new feature is the new base attribute so basically there's a new attribute rather than heading which was just heading accuracy that was the only stat that corresponded with that as well now there's a physical one so basically all the things added together like jumping your heading everything put together that goes under the physical attributes are put into one rating which i like as well because it removes the heading factor as well which i like i'm not sure if this has got anything to do with overpowered headers from p14 but it's quite funny really but it's a good feature i reckon and i think it'll do well and yeah it's something new so why wouldn't you like it okay so the next feature i'm going to talk about is this new feature where you could actually build your squads without having the player so for example you could do squad builds and stuff like that so it's like foothead slash foot whiz but in the game now that is going to be really helpful i reckon as well say if you want to plan out your team you could plan out your team without having the players now the players that are marked in silver and have a white outline those are the players that you don't own so like you could put in the players that you don't have already and you could plan out a squad now this will work pretty nice with hybrids as well and say for example you're in a game you were in a game and you lost like 5 nil, and the guy had a nice squad you can just copy that squad and make it even better that's how good this is and i, I like this feature i reckon it's going to do really well and yeah that's that pretty much sums it all up all right so the next feature i'm going to talk about is the goalkeeper reaction now this is a new feature now in fifa 14 the goalkeeper was absolutely shocking in my opinion it was fucking horrible now in this hopefully it's an improvement there's new save animations don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing hopefully it's a good thing and the next thing is read and react so they read where the ball is and they're, they're going to react so that means the goalkeeping should be improved if not then i don't know what the fuck they are doing at ea so i hope the goalkeeping improves and it gets better because on FIFA 14 the goalkeeping was horrible it was disgraceful so 
Hopefully it gets better. Let's move on to the next feature. Okay, so the next new feature I'm going to talk about is the Friendly Seasons. Now, do you remember MP14 where you could just play a one-off game? Now it's totally different. You could play a season with your friends. I know, that sounds absolutely amazing. You could play a season with your friends. That's epic. Now, in the match history as well, all the score lines that you played with a certain friend is always there. So you could always, you know, find out who's a better player. The person who wins probably wins a trophy and wins loads of coins as well. So that is absolutely amazing. Good job EA, that is a good move and I'm going to really like that as well. So the next new feature we're going to talk about is the new legend cards. Now there's more legend cards now. So there's new legend cards and the FIFA 14 legends are going to be in FIFA 15 as well. So all together there's 55 legend cards. Now the main new legend cards are Bobby Moore, Okocha, Roberto Carlos, Shemichael, Shearer, Valderrama and the Louder Brothers. Those are the main players. Those players are going to be beast in my opinion as well. So it leaves you a wide variety of players to choose from. Rather than trying out Ronaldo, Messi, Ibra all the time, you could try out these legends as well. So that will make the game more entertaining in my opinion as well. And that's a good move adding more legend cards. So let's move on to the next feature. Okay, so the next new feature is the goal and technology. I think this is a good move from EA, but the downside of it is I think it might show a lot of replays. Now on next gen, you know how bad the replays were on FIFA 14 so I think this goal line technology is actually kind of okay you could find out if the ball's gone over the line or if it's not a goal you know you could find out if the goalkeeper hasn't taken it into his own net and you know how how much that happens on FIFA 14 when you think it's a goal but yeah so the goal line technology it's going to be good but it's going to show a lot of replays but yeah I think it's a good overall new feature Okay, so this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button if you're excited about this game and the new features. And make sure you leave your comments and questions down in the comment section down below. Do you reckon this game's going to be good? Or do you reckon it's going to be a flop? And yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed. And peace. Make sure you subscribe as well. Just forgot about that.